Dartmouth High School has been home for the Indians for decades, but the future of the logo and the mascot are up in the air. In April, voters can weigh in on whether or not they want to do away with the symbol or not. We've seen similar debates across the country and even in our area. But one tribal member in Dartmouth tells us it's a different case here. The Native American community is fighting for the logo to stay. New tonight, 12 News reporter Sheena Loshido has a look at why from Dartmouth. Well, you won't see it all over buildings, but the Dartmouth High School logo has been the same for decades, and local tribal members say it's a part of history for them. It's a symbol of strength and pride. Disbanding that would, would really do nothing but just another whitewash of, 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 of history. That's why tribal member Sean Carney says he's hoping to see the Dartmouth High School logo stay. His own uncle, also a member of the tribe, designed the graphic you see here years ago. It's analogous to honoring, you know, the contributions and the achievements of the native peoples that populated uh, these lands well before we did. Dartmouth is holding a town referendum on the use of the logo in April. Selectman John Heron pushed to have the question on the ballot after being approached by a tribal member. Heron says he wants the fate to be up to the people rather than, for example, just a few elected officials. It's basically asking the, the taxpayers and voters in the town of Dartmouth, what do they want? Do they want to keep it or not? Yes, it's a yes or no question. Heron is in support of keeping the logo, saying he knows it's important to tribal members. So how did we end up here? Carney says we're hearing stories of offensive logos elsewhere. For example, we saw recent name changes in the NFL and the MLB, but he says that's not what's happening here in Dartmouth. The misconception of, of the controversy here is you saw similar movements happening throughout the country. Um, but those movements, again, are distinguishable from what's happening here. The townwide vote is scheduled for April 5th. Heron says the vote is non binding, meaning its results will send a message to the school committee who still gets the final say. It's a tastefully dumb logo, um, and really nothing about it is offensive to the native culture. We reached out to the entire Dartmouth School Committee, but we haven't heard back yet. We'll continue trying to reach them. Reporting in Dartmouth, I'm Sheena Lushudo, 12 News.